So hello everyone. In this video slide, we will be looking at foreign key placements. So, so far we have looked at minimum and maximum cardinality, but maximum cardinality plays an important role in determining when you have a relationship between two tables, which of the two table gets the foreign key. So we are going to look at the scenarios that we have learned so far, one to one maximum cardinality, one to many, and many to many maximum cardinality. So when you have a one to one maximum cardinality, we can place the foreign key in either one of the two entities. It doesn't matter. For a tracking purpose, we might want to pick one entity over the other, but that would again be a business decision. When you have a one to many maximum cardinality, remember that the foreign key always goes on the many side of the entity. And we are going to look at examples. Uh, in finally, in a many to many, we will need to create a new associative entity. So let's look at these each one by one with an example. We have a one to one relationship here between company and board. Again, this is a one to one maximum cardinality, which means that company can have only one board. A board can belong to only one company. So in this particular case, we have a maximum, we are more focused on the maximum cardinality when it comes to placement of foreign keys. The maximum cardinality is one to one. So it doesn't really matter which of the entity is going to get the uh, primary key. So in this particular case, we decide to place company ID as a foreign key in the board table. Um, so company ID gets placed in the board table as a foreign key. We could have as well placed board ID in the company table as a foreign key. But remember, you don't have to do both of it. We would just place a copy of either primary key in one of the other table as a foreign key. So keep that in mind for a one to one relationship. When we have a one to many, though, the foreign key will always go in the many side. So here we are looking at department and employee. Department can have many employees. Employee belongs to one department. So the maximum cardinality many is under employee here. So as you can see here, we are going to place department ID in the many side of our relationship, which is in of the entity, which is the employee entity. So remember, when you have to one too many, you cannot place employee ID in the department because if you logically think about it, a department can have many employees in it. So it doesn't make sense to put employee ID here, but it makes sense to put employee department ID with the employee. So last, and we have also looked at this before, when you have a many to many relationship, um, you have to place, you will have to create a new associative entity. And in this case, we are going to, if we're looking at student um, and course, we're going to have enrollment, which will be an associative entity that would keep track of more particular details about student being in a course. So for example, grade is a good example of that term is a good example of that. So in this case, we are going to bring student ID and course ID from these two parent tables. They are going to be primary keys as well as foreign keys here. So just keep the business rule in mind that a student can enroll in a course only once, because if that was not the case, we would also have to make term to be our primary key. So this to keep it simple, I've just kept it at student ID and course ID. But again, the main point to remember here is when you have a many to many, you would need to create a new associative entity to keep track of things that are particular to those two relationships.